Hello friends. Have you ever been to a railway station to take your tickets? You have to stand in a long queue. Or if you ever apply for a job, you will see before you reach there are already so many people sitting there. Or on a weekend if you go to a mall, everywhere you see crowded buses. This is such a common sight in India. You will see so many people around you every time, be it at 12 in the night or 12 in the morning. But in comparison, if you ever come across a picture of a broad, you will see greenery around and you will see less people. Why is it so? It is because here we are facing a problem of population. Whereas in other countries, in other European countries and all, it is not so. So this is our topic of study today, population and what impact it has on our economy. Before we start, let's have a glance at the population. The world population is 700 crores. 100 crores is 1 billion. So in other words, you can say the world population is 7 billion. China is the most populated country with a population of 1.3 billion or 136 crores. It constitutes 20% of the world population. India comes second with a population of a whopping 125 crores or 1.25 billion. And we constitute 18% of the world's population. And US is the third most populated country with a population of merely 35 crores. You can see the difference between the second most populated country and the third most populated country. It is just 35 crores. So 100 crores is 1 billion. So just in case you come across the figures in billion, do not get confused. We are 1.25 billion people or 125 crores. State-wise, in India, UP is the most populated state with the 17% of the population of, of our population living in UP. Maharashtra has a population of 9% and Bihar is also 9% of the Indian population lives in Bihar. Now, this is such a common sight. You see so many people. This is the problem that we are facing. Everywhere, the number of people is much more than the capacity can hold. There is a lot of strain on the resources, on the natural resources and the man-made resources that are available. The man and the resource ratio is far more than what should be. So now let us talk about what we are going to study in the chapter. We'll talk about the meaning of population. We'll understand what population actually means, what type of population should be there for an economy, big or small? What are the demographic trends in India in the past six decades? What are the causes that population has grown so rapidly in our country? Population growth in India and its effect on the economic development. Demographic dividend, what does it mean? And the measures that have been taken by the government for solving the population problem. So all these things we are going to take up one by one.